Hello everybody out there in social media land. It's your personal injury attorney and family law attorney, Derek Bernstein, here to give you some legal advice. Today, I'm answering another family law legal question, and that is, can my pension be split in a divorce? Right? So, so we're talking about people who've been married uh, or, or, you know, are older, have a pension. Can it be split in a divorce? And the real thing, and the way I see it most of the time is, if you've been married for a long time. So if you've been married for 20 years, you have a pension, that's your only source of income is that pension for the most part, or maybe you have some social security or Medicare, Medicaid, whatever you're on. Um, can it be split? For the most part, yes. And the way they really do it is through alimony. So if you have $2,500 and the person needs, the judge says that they need another 600 to live, yes, they can order that you pay that person a portion of your pension every single month until pretty much the end of time or until that person finds another, uh, gets married again. And usually what happens in those cases when you do have a permanent alimony situation um, that requires them never to get married is, oh my God, they never find love again, right? So can your pension be split into divorce? Pretty much, yes. And they can go in with orders and take money um, directly from accounts for if, you, if you're not paying and things of that nature. So you want to make sure that you talk to a good uh, personal, I'm sorry, family law attorney before you get a divorce, especially if you're dealing with pensions and things like that, because if the person has been with you for a very long time and there's an entitlement, a presumption of alimony, especially if you raised three kids, sat at home, uh, didn't work because they couldn't, now they have no way of really getting out to it. You can fight these things on if they have the actual need for what's going on, right? So even with the equitable distribution, you're going to give them a house or two. You're going to do this. They're going to they're going to have you know hundred thousand dollar lump sum. That's pretty good. Do they need alimony? It's really good to make sure you fight it up front than just giving in and say, oh, we've been married twenty five years. We had two kids. We did this. Blah 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 blah. Don't just do that because then you'll be splitting a bigger portion than your of your pension than you want, right? So when it comes to alimony, it's need. On the one side, ability to pay. And if your pension is good enough for it to be the ability to pay, you're going to be splitting that thing every month. So click subscribe. Keep those questions coming. Comment in the box, please. Uh, I love seeing it. So I know I'm not making videos for nobody. Keep those questions coming, guys. Have a good day.